Hey everyone, this is Conrad Schubach with the Puff Drink Talk podcast. I'm here smoking the Oliva Connecticut Reserve Cigar. Let's get into it. Nicaraguan, there we go, <laughs> binder, filler, and of origin. Flavor Profiles is having it as a wood, coffee, cream tasting, probably smooth cigar. I'm excited to try it. I think it's going to, it looks like a Starbucks Frappuccino. I'm just throwing that out there that it might, uh, I might have a, a Starbucks sponsorship here smoking this cigar in the future. So, but uh, just look at that thing. Isn't that, isn't that pretty? That wrapper, everything. That is just, that's just a good looking cigar. And I'm probably gonna do, I'm not gonna do a V cut today. I'm going to do a straight cut. Let's have a, a cold draw. Straight cut. Now for a cold draw. Smells, smells woody. Not really a farm, but a wood, a wood flavor. Kind of like an oak. Sweet. Very sweet. I have a feeling this is going to be a light cigar, an easy cigar to smoke. Nice easy draw. It has a sweetness to it, a little bit of a wood flavor that you get from the from the smell of the wrapper is on inside the filler. Mm, this will be fun. Let's light this bad boy up. Here I am lighting this Oliva Connecticut Reserve. It's interesting. So I, I when I was when I was lighting it, I think I moved the lighter just a little bit and it started burning the wrapper. It makes the smell go. It takes the scent of the cigar out to the air. So yeah. we kind of breathe that and which is quite nice. So I guess cautionary tale, be careful, make sure that you're really just hitting the head of this and not to get the wrapper at all because it uh, it's very easily burned. This is a, one of the first times that I've smoked a Connecticut with it with the wrapper burning and charring kind of like it like it did. But yeah, let's get into the first puff. All right, the first puff of this Oliva Connecticut Reserve. Let's go. Very easy. Sweet, smooth, <sighs> creamy coffee. It's a creamy coffee flavor to it. It almost tastes like, it's, it's, it's jogging memories of my grandma. Little 65 year old lady, she'd smoke about 30 packs of cigarettes a day, always out <laughs> with the, out, always oh. out in her pajamas. Oh yeah, she was a heavy smoker. Uh, and she would always be smoking and having a cup of black coffee. No cream, no sugar, nothing like that, but just having a black coffee. The combination of that coffee with smoke from the cigarette is bringing back some of these memories right here. Cool. And uh, it's very enjoyable, very smooth, great flavor, rich. Yeah, creamy coffee. See you on the first third. First third, which is kind of second third. Um, <laughs> our conversation has been really interesting, and we've kind of got lost track and puffing cigars. But uh, hey, that's that's what that's what you do when you puff and drink, man. You you have a great conversation to go along with it. Nothing has really changed as far as the flavor. It's still richy, rich, creamy, delicious. Uh, I've really enjoyed this cigar. No smoky flavor. I mean, it's just, it's consistent all the way through. It's been very, very enjoyable. And uh, stay tuned for the second third of, uh, of this cigar review. All right, on the second third of my, my cigar, nice even burn. That all the way through. Perfect lines. 
almost at the, the final third of this. Not as smoky where I could get uh, smoke rings. Still has that creamy flavor. Very coffee-ish. This is going to pair well with a good cup of coffee. This is a, a very good morning cigar. Not as sweet, but it's a, it's a, it's it's like a creamy coffee. It's a it's a coffee flavor, but very enjoyable. I, I haven't had to correct this at all. Nice even burn, like I was saying before. I haven't had to purge it where it was just getting that bitter flavor. Nothing. It's it's been very consistent the whole the whole way through. So, we'll see you on the final third. Final third, we're getting down there. Conversation on our podcast really took over, and this cigar unfortunately did die, so I did have to uh, relight it, which always changes the flavor of it. But the burn is still perfect line. Yeah, isn't that isn't that amazing? And yeah. and I have to say, absolutely no change in flavor. <laughs> even from, after relighting? even after relighting it Jeez. and and I mean I I don't need to do a hard purge on this. Mm -hmm. I do not need to do nothing bitter about it. it. The flavor is just consistent with this cigar. It's a really really easy still it's got that coffee Starbucks coffee. I'm going to I'm not okay. <laughs> I'm going to up the level of it. It's going to be your local coffee shop that you go to and support small business. And you go, you know what? This is this coffee is where it's at. Um, I'm not going to degrade myself and say Starbucks. It's a better it's a better coffee. It's a it's a really good coffee flavor. But uh, I mean, it has just been such an easy, smooth cigar. I really think this is going to pair extremely well with the coffee. First thing in the morning, you wake up, you're on the beach, having a cup of coffee and you smoke this, you'll be, there's not a finer combination. Highly recommend this. All right, final score on this Oliva Connecticut Reserve. I'm going to give it a 97. It, wow. <laughs> it is up there with, uh, I mean, I 97? 97. I'm going to go 97. Jeez, this has really buy it. <laughs> yeah, get out of here and buy a cigar. <laughs> yes, I'm, 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 I'm telling you, I'm. I, this has been such a pure enjoyment of a cigar, uh, and I think the combination of having a little bit of a drink and the conversation, and we've been chewing on some uh, brie cheese, and just the, the whole combination of it has really added to that score the the cigar itself has complemented every single aspect i didn't feel like i had to constantly be checking on it it was still burning a little bit i had a 20 minute conversation for this for this cigar to go out that i did have to relight but uh, I mean, if i was just doing a five minute conversation pick it up and smoke it it would still be lit and no problems whatsoever complements well with the drink it complements well with the cheese it complements just everything. Highly recommend this cigar. It is. It's just been fantastic. So, and if you like this this cigar review, please leave a like and a comment. Let me know if there's another cigar that you would recommend that'd be um, comparable flavor profile to this. I'd I'd love to smoke that and give that a try and give you um, give you my thoughts on it. And then this is also extrapolated from our Puff Drink Talk podcast. You'll see the channels there. Uh, this week we were finishing up our scary season with ghosts, exorcisms, the rise, and hopeful, uh, hopefully uh, a fall of the AI and robotics, nothing that controls our lives. Um, and then, of course, we do our battles of, Battle of Logos, which is always a fun segment. So, uh, again, if you enjoy the Cigar Review, we have the podcast. And uh, thank you very much for sticking around. Have a great day.